All right, Coach, I have to start off by asking, there's some of the guys on the team that you coached previously. Is it weird seeing them play out on the floor and not coach them? Well, it, it makes me realize how much I miss coaching them because they're good players. But, uh, you know, this whole tournament's not about who I coached or when they played at Colorado or who they played for. It's about the fact that they're all buffs. Oh. They're all representing their university, and uh, they're having a good time doing it. Seeing the black and gold here at Fordham University in New York City at the basketball tournament, how does that help? Does that help at all with recruiting? You know, seeing them in the final, in the final game of the tournament. It doesn't hurt. I can tell you that. It brings a lot of pride to our university and uh, to certainly uh, people that follow college basketball here in July. And uh, we're really proud of the fact that uh, they've made it this far, win or lose, and they're playing pretty well here. Did you meet with some of the guys at all throughout the tournament or text them, give them a little game plan or a pep talk? No, none of that stuff. But, you know, they did come to Boulder for a training camp before the tournament started, and so I got a chance to visit with them uh, during that three- or four-day period. Uh, actually had them over to the house for a barbecue and, and uh, had a chance to reconnect with a lot of the guys. So, But since the tournament started, uh, they've been on their own. They're doing a heck of a job. Did you Do you know who started this team? Is there one guy in specific or a bunch of guys that got together and said, hey, let's let's play in the tournament. We can win. Well, there's two guys that really deserve a lot of credit, uh, Trent Beckley and Bo Gamble. And both of them played uh, at Colorado, and they've kind of helped organize this group, helped do some fundraising, and, and reached out and brought these guys together. So uh, a lot of credit goes to both Bo and Trent. And watching you, you look pretty relaxed as the game is going on, but there are some times where you show a little of emotion. Is it hard to shut off that coaching voice in your head? You know, now I know what our fans go through when you're emotionally invested and you're not on the bench, you're not part of it, you're just sitting in the stands. It gets very nerve-wracking, so uh, my emotions are running high. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Coach. Okay, thank you.